Kim here. Well, well, well. I am over my ATM, which basically means I'm too heavy. So, how heavy am I? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out, but I'm going to take you through the whole caravan and work out why I might be over. And uh, I'll also show you what, what I've actually got in the caravan, and mind you, it's not a lot. Am I surprised it's over? And not really, not really, um, but yeah, I'm going to take you through exactly what I have done. Okay, so I'm over on my ATM, which means basically I'm too heavy and uh, not legal, apparently. So if someone pulls me over, you know, the transport department, whatever, apparently I will get a fine because I'm too heavy if they weigh me. So, how much am I over? Well... I'm going to show you all the details, but basically I'm over by 62 kilos. You might think, ah, that's not much. Yeah, that's true. It's not much, but uh, it's still over. And probably need to address it if you really want to be legal. Okay, so firstly, I'll probably take you through the van and show you exactly, you know, what I've got in the van and you'll be surprised. <laughs> and then I'll take you through the paperwork and um, show you exactly what they said. I had a wait on the weekend. All right, let's go through it. So starting at the rear, I have got some bikes on here. You know, they're not, yeah, I suppose they're heavy bikes, you know, they're big cruiser bikes, so there's only two of them on there. Steel. I have uh, my water t container, 20 litres, fishing rods under there, spare well, that comes all factory, but it does have the uh, bike rack. Um, it's yeah, it's probably a bit of weight in that, actually, the tow balls. A bit of weight too, that's full steel. Okay, everything else is pretty much factory. Um, I'll show you around the toolboxes. So in the toolbox, I've got a generator. I think these are rated at around about, uh, it's a 2.2, so I think it's rated at around about uh, 22 kilos plus five kilos of fuel. So maybe uh, 25, 26 kilos, somewhere around there. I'm not gonna need this anymore now because I have installed the inverter. I'm waiting to do the lithium upgrade here. So I'm going to put a lithium battery in there. So I'm going to get rid of this generator, which will which will save me some weight. As I said, 62 kilos, I'm over. Okay, going around, <clears throat> all pretty standard. There's nothing nothing too uh, out there for this sort of stuff. I'll show you in here, basic basic sort of setup. It's got two gas bottles in there, some drain hoses. You know, just stick a lead in there. Like not not. Uh, not anything different than anyone else. Okay, tunnel booth. Yeah, these are packed. Okay, but I don't think there's anything real heavy in there. I've basically got a, I've got a little portable gas barbecue in here, which is the little um, two burner one, very small. It's more of a camping one. Uh, I've got a picnic table in there. Some, you know, some, some little chocks for the wheels. I've got my anti-flap kits, toolboxes, pegs, little fluffy rug for for a footstep. Okay, that's it, nothing else extra. Just my standard stuff inside. Let's go inside. Turn some light on for you. Yeah, look, it's been pretty stock in here. We we honestly really haven't decked it out that much. Obviously, you just got all your normal sort of stuff, you know, toasters and kettles and all the light sort of stuff you can fit in there. Cupboards, a little bit of food. Look, look it's pretty bare, eh, to be honest with you. It's, I wouldn't say that all the stuff is full, no way. The fridge, well the fridge, the fridge has got the essentials in it. Doesn't exactly have a lot of stuff in there. Bathroom, yeah, some towel, toilet paper, you know, your toiletry sort of stuff. Even all these cupboards are all empty. <laughs> you know, there's not much in the shower. There's a hat. So what I'm trying to get to is there's not a lot of weight in here, okay? The heaviest part inside this caravan would probably be maybe what's underneath the bed, but it's not a lot. If you saw my pre previous videos, I installed an inverter, had all that wired up, it's working sweet. And then all I do is we just have a little foam mattress for our um, daughter to sit on the lounge on here when she went to sleep on it. 
and I got a deck chair and that's pretty much it so I was a little bit surprised I'm over but not not entirely because I tell you what I did I'll take you around and explain it on the other side all right so what I did is when the guy came here on the weekend and he, um, he put all his little Bluetooth, you know, way little machines on the back tires and weighs everything, is I filled up, I filled up my two water tanks <clears throat> and I'll get you so you can see, but underneath there, they're actually in front of the axle because uh, the one at the back is a grey water tank, but these two are twin 95 litre uh, water tanks you might as well call them 100 liters by the time you fill them up they actually might be more than that by the time you fill them right up and the you fill the hose it goes all the way up through here and the spout and usually i have water coming out here so look they could be even 110 liters 105 liters you know when they're full so i'll go through the paperwork with you but basically when this caravan came from the factory the tear weight was uh two two three oh eight so two tons 308 kilos and I'm and basically what I'm allowed to go up to is my ATM which is a 2750 and obviously I've gone over that by 62 kilos so yeah I need to rectify that but the thing is the reason why I filled up those tanks were I really wanted to know how much this thing weighs like fully loaded you know water tank at the back bikes on water tanks at the front fully loaded generator and I know I didn't have a lot of food in there and um beer and stuff like that's so all the essential stuff i know i didn't have a lot of that in there but i really wanted to just load everything else up so okay so i've got to lose 62 kilos i know i can lose 20 or so kilos from the generator and i know i'm going to lose the 20 or something kilos from the battery you know it's probably not going to be enough to get down under that 62 so i'm gonna to have to lose some water and water out of my water tank i'd say because you think about it like i haven't really put food in there there's no clothes in there those sort of things so I'm really going to have to possibly take some water out of my tanks. Uh, or maybe look at another option for a bike rack that's maybe aluminium. Because that, that thing there probably weighs 15 kilos, just that bike rack I reckon. So I could probably maybe go to a different bike rack. But I do like this bike rack, it's just easy. This You pop that pin out of there and you can take this off, just take this whole thing off and put it back on your car. I really like that. But anyway, I might have to work on that. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at really. So I'm definitely over, but I think I can re rectify this. It's not a huge amount, um, but it's just good to know what this caravan actually weighs when it's fully loaded with all that water in there. Because there's the two tanks, like I said to you, it's probably 220 kilos of water. So, you know, I can, also, I can travel on the highway and then fill out when I get close to my destination, but I just wanted to fill everything up and then at least you know where you stand. All right, so let's do some paperwork. All right guys, so this is my plate that's, um, you know, from the manufacturer that's in the tunnel booth at the front of the caravan. I just want to show you a couple little things on it. The tear mass, so that's what the caravan weighs when it comes from the factory. It's saying that it's uh, 2 tons, 308 kilos, um, and that's obviously without, you know, gas and water and loads of things. So just purely just straight from the factory. And then our ATM. ATM is pretty much what the uh, um, caravan can pretty much be maximum when you fill it right up you know your water gas bottles food equipment whatever that's as much as it can weigh so that's what you don't want to go over it's pretty easy to go over really when you think about it you know the when it when it's only you know two tons 308 and then you know 2750 is what you got to max so it's you know it's not a lot of weight really you're talking about 400 kilos or so it's not heaps um so yeah anyway i'm over 62 kilos so yeah i need to do something about it just a little note here as well the tow ball you know you hitch it in front of caravan that's what they're saying 206 kilos now with you see with mine it's way over that so i was surprised by that but you know you got to think about all the things that may be at the front of your caravan all right so let's check out the paperwork all right so this is the caravan these are the guys uh way in tow 
really professional. Uh, they actually came out on a sad day, and I'm in Brisbane, so they do Brisbane area, Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, and I'm pretty sure they might have other franchises. Not sure about that. But they were really good. They came with all the equipment, and um, they were able to uh, weigh it on the driveway. So I was all hitched up, ready to go. So that to, for them to do it on the driveway was pretty good because I had a little bit of an angle on my driveway, but they said they were fine. They was fine with that. So um, yeah, so this is the details, guys. So as you want to look on, on your bottom right here, 2750 is the maximum that I can weigh. Uh, and as you can see, 2812 is actually what I'm weighing right now. And I'm, that means I'm 62 kilos over. So yeah, I need to cut some fat there somehow. Um, <clears throat> Got a couple of ideas how I can do it, but I just want to show you this is the exact information they send you, which is really handy. Um, just a little note, I can probably show you what the car was too. So this is the car. Um, you can see there the red section there on the right hand side. So I've got a GVM of uh, 3.4, so when the caravan is hooked up to my car, because of the weight of the tow ball, it does uh, increase my weight of the vehicle, which puts me over my GVM. So I'm sitting about 3.530 when I'm maximum I'm supposed to be legally is uh, 3.4. I'm not too worried about it because I've actually done the GVM upgrade. I did it all myself. Suspension, leafs, uh, shocks, springs. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is the plate, the GVM plate. And that is what I need to get. Uh, and the only way I can get the GV in play is to prove uh, with receipts and invoices of all the equipment that I brought and purchased for my vehicle for the upgrade. If you don't have invoices for all that, they can't actually give you a, a GV in play. Well, the people I've spoken to, they won't give it to me without any kind of receipts for all the equipment, which makes sense to me, I suppose. So, yeah, you can see that uh, I'm 130 kilos over with the caravan hooked up. Um, and then we scroll right down the bottom here. Um, without the caravan, uh, my GVM is 3.4. That doesn't change, but um, because I don't have the caravan hooked up anymore, I'm lighter. So I'm totally within my GVM without the caravan. Uh, I've got 180 kilos there. I can probably put it on the back of the Ute. Probably won't be putting that much in there because it's pretty well set up anyway. So I know that I needed to get a GVM plate done. I've kind of known that for a while. I was just trying to find someone that can do it. And I have at least recently learned that it's quite expensive to get someone to get a plate. But anyway, that's the struggles. Okay, so you can see that, yep, I'm sweet without the caravan, but as soon as I hook up the caravan, I'm 130 kilos over. Uh, yeah, bummer. Okay, so they're the two things. Just another little thing. I was really surprised by the um, weight of the hitch. For some reason in my head, I was thinking... Uh, probably 200 something kilos because it's only a 17 and a half foot caravan I really didn't think it'd be that heavy but look at the paperwork I think it was like 310 kilos of weight I was really shocked by that and because it's 310 kilos or something I'll let you know on the paperwork but because it was so heavy that weight added to my tow ball on my car and now my car is over <laughs> GVM it's fine when it's like this, but when as soon as I hook the caravan up to it, I'm over like 130 kilos. So the car now needs, well, it doesn't need a GVM because I've already done, I've done all that stuff myself. I've done all the suspension myself, but it does need that mod plate for it to be legal. So I was super shocked by the weight of these things. 300 something kilos for a 17.6 van. Wow, I, yeah, I was pretty shocked about that. But that's with the full water at the front of the caravan. I know people that can move, or they have moved their water tanks from from this location here. See these two water tanks? I've, I've seen people that have moved one of those and put it between your axles there. Well, not your axles, but between your suspension. But it's not uh, 95 litres. They drop it down to like 70 or something, I think. So you lose you lose the volume. So I didn't really want to do that, so it's a bit of a compromise, really. All right, so yeah, I'm look, I'm I'm really new to the caravan world. This is my first caravan. I'm I'm a swag guy, uh, but the wife is kind of sick of the swag. Uh, she wants a bit more comfort, comfort. So I can't blame her with that. So I will be making some changes here. I'm gonna make some mistakes, and I'm gonna 
try and upgrade this caravan as best as I can. So stay tuned for all those videos and I'm um, really looking forward to getting stuck into some ideas that I'm going to do. Alright guys, thanks. Like and subscribe if you can. I really appreciate it. See ya.